hey what's up guys um during productions here so um we are uh, going to uh, look at the um honor magic book 14 a laptop from huawei 2020 version with the latest aim the 4000 series uh, 16 gigabytes of ram 512 gigabytes of storage which which is presented today so after some time to open it, you can find that the box of Huawei changed quite a lot. Previously, you will need to uh, uh, really put your hand deep in the box so that you can um, uh, get the laptop out. But now, just out of the box, it's there already. So the charger and cable is basically um, the same for every Huawei laptop since Type-C are kind of the standard. Uh, it's definitely on the small side, but it's not as small as any Redmi Book charger, which is super small in 2020. It's not a big issue, but if you just uh, look at the laptop itself the chase is 100 percent the same as the 2019 version um uh, it's actually almost the same type of design and made book the 14 but um while uh, the owner logo does not look as uh, uh business uh, oriented as the huawei logo and there are some kind of, uh, shiny blue edge of this laptop so uh, if the price is not really too significant i would actually suggest you go for the great huawei macbook d14 model but anyway uh, what happens here will only speak for the uh, the macbook d14 because they're just the same chases the same internals with uh, different model number and well different brand uh, you cannot just use a single hand to open the lid but um, uh, after you open the lid, you will kind of find out that, okay, the laptop uh, just feels like a MacBook replica. This is uh, pretty much the same for any Redmi Book or Huawei um, laptop because they are basically the later um, players in the market and they will definitely find somebody to follow. Um, uh, the the keyboard uh, is actually on the good side from Huawei's laptop. It's, bet it's better than Magic Book Pro and the MacBook 13, 14. Uh, considering the thickness of the laptop, uh, it's understandable and the travel is better. The um, webcam is hidden inside the keyboard. Um, the screen actually is some kind of featherless, but at the bottom there is a pretty um, big on the logo and the plastic area. Is, uh, there's nothing to complain about um, considering it's a budget uh, laptop. We have already uh, set up the laptop. So uh, on the one hand, uh, there is one USB and another 3.5 millimeter headphone shaft. Uh, I do not understand why Honor just uh, do not put uh, does not put uh, some additional ports. Uh, on the other side, there is one charging USB-C port, one HDMI, and one USB-A port. So if I'm talking about connectivity, um, this laptop is okay, but kind of limited. It's very similar to a MacBook 14, kind of like that. Okay, so if you just press the power button and set up the OS properly, you will be able to use fingerprint along with the power button. The back lid of the keyboard is very good. It does not go from any edges, only from the center letters. So it's uh, something we should really press Huawei or Honor. Uh, the screen uh, brightness is very high. It looks like uh, a white color gamma screen for me, not a standard color gamma. It generally refers to a 70 or 60% edge sRGB color gamma. So the screen actually looks fantastic for this laptop. So uh, everyday usage for mail, uh, browser, uh, app store, and uh, uh, the, the, the explorer is uh, pretty good and not as quick as it's uh, simply MacBook 14, but uh, pretty stable and smooth. So there's nothing to complain about, but still nothing really great. So um, here is a YouTube video uh, I would really like to Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire... Finish the lyrics! Don't stop me now! What are you doing, man? Finish the lyrics. Finish you in a second. God. <laughs> Finish the lyrics. See me banging on the counter? It wasn't me. <laughs> Sorry, ba- Wasn't me. Can the screams get louder? Wasn't me. Say everybody want to Wasn't me. <laughs> Finish the lyrics. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> Finish the lyrics. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Wow. <laughs> do you need Keep a going. So hard. Wow, you really good. Keep going. I'm up the deep end. Watch us all top I'll never meet the ground. Wow. Press through the surface where they can't hurt.
Okay, so um, uh, I would like to say that this, uh, the sound quality definitely improves a lot uh, comparing to the 2090 model. So the 2090 model is kind of disaster, and uh, if you look at the, uh, the 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 2090 model, uh, the the sound quality, the sound is very small, and 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 there is no bass, no high pitch, so uh, it's not really great. But if you look at this model, um, so this model, the screen is slightly better than the previous year's generation, and the sound quality is significantly better. It's still not on par with the Nova or HP models uh, at similar price, uh, at similar price range, something like that. But uh, it's definitely um, on the same level. So, um, so um, I would like to say that this uh, laptop has become uh, more well-rounded for this year. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, going to the internals of this uh, laptop because uh, many people are interested in this type of AMD versions. They are very powerful, but they are very cheap. So uh, it has a, a five version. So uh, still you can get the R seven version on the market. Depends on your need of performance. So. Um, The graphic processor is the uh, RX Vector 6 version, so if you get R7, you will get the RX Vector 7, uh, which is slightly more powerful. The solid state drive is a Samsung one. Uh, currently, I think it's a PM981A, uh, so it's the best uh, solid state drive from Samsung. There's nothing to um, worry about. For the uh, network, it's from the Realtek, um, so it's a very a usable one for such a basic laptop. You cannot really expect Wi-Fi 6 on such a price range. The monitor is from Inalux. Um, the model number um, actually tells you that it's a 250 uh, nit uh, display with 45% uh, NTSC. It's not really one of the top uh, screen um, on such a color gamut. I do not have any tool, but definitely it's beyond my expectation. The contrast ratio is also better than my, than my expectation. Uh, probably Huawei or Honor just choose some type of the uh, best batch uh, for this model or analogs is uh, really working hard to make this model uh, looks better. Uh, the benchmark uh, table is are, uh, on the screen now. So the uh, open geo for, from the Sandy Benchmark 15 is around 50 frames per second, which is pretty typical scores. The CPU mother score is 900 CB, very high for such a processor, almost approaching the 1K of the Ryzen 4, uh, 4, uh, 4700U. Um, the single core uh, performance is also very good, around 1.7. Uh, 170 CB. So for the BMD raw speed test, as we all know, it's not really optimized and kind of far behind from any Intel counterparts. For the solid state drive, it's a really fast one. Uh, so uh, it, ba it basically outperforms most of the Dell or HP and BMD solid, solid state drive, drive. It's much faster than their solid state drives. As for the memory speed and the cache speed, uh, it's pretty typical. Uh, there's nothing uh, we find any unusual. So um, uh, the performance wise, um, it's just it, it uh, it's just um. Okay, looking at the the the, the uh, stability test side, so uh, we try to uh, uh, change the system to high performance mode, but still using battery. And uh, in idle mode, the temperature is around thirty nine Celsius degree. There's no any noise. The CPU uh, package is on the uh, uh, package power envelope is on the high side, which is around um, one watts plus or sometimes two watts. But after some time, it dropped to zero point something watts. Probably there is something running in the back end. Uh, but what you can see from the screen is that the D stretch rate is very low, just uh, slightly less than 4 watts, but you get a 56 watt hour battery and in idle mode you probably can get 12-13 um, hours of uh, video time and even probably in normal everyday office you can get something like 8 hours office time, so which is really fantastic. Uh, after the uh, CPU stress test is on, you can see that the CPU goes to 2.5 GHz, 2.4 GHz first, and then you will uh, go higher to something like 3. Point something GHz and even 4 GHz, oh my god, uh, with a 28, 29 uh, power envelope. Uh, although uh, it drops to 25 envelope sometime later, the speed is still uh, fantastic, around uh, 3.8 GHz, not really low. So uh, the performance of this laptop is really fantastic, but the uh, temperature is also pretty high, 85 Celsius degree. Uh, after approximately Maybe 10 minutes of uh, stability test, the uh, speed uh, drops to 3.3 gigahertz and the, the package power envelope drops to uh, 15 watts. So although um, uh, although it's not uh, not really a lot of uh, power consumption, but the speed is very high, 3.3 gigahertz for 6 cores, uh, the temperature is slightly on the high side, 80 um, Celsius degree, but um, wow, I would like to say it's pretty okay and acceptable.
So um, the, I would like to say the performance output is uh, pretty good on this laptop. Uh, add, uh, uh, add the GPU into the uh, stress test, what you, you can see is that from the GPU alone, you can find that uh, the GPU alone can find itself uh, easily from a maximum frequency around 1.5 uh, gigahertz. Uh, interestingly, so this uh, processor only need about 14 or 15 watts for the GPU to run at maximum frequency. Uh, what a shame for Intel, need a lot of power to make it so weak uh, GPU to run at full frequency but still cannot play any games. Now let's just add CPU also into the game so you have both a CPU and GPU running. Uh, after both running, the total power envelope runs a bit higher to 23 watts. Interestingly, the GPU uh, is still about 900 or 1 gigahertz, which is very high in Ryzen series. Uh, the temperature is also pretty high, around 80 Celsius degree, while the CPU frequency is also, also very high, ar around 3 gigahertz. So um, the performance output is on the strong side, and so is the, uh, uh, the temperature. Uh, after 5 minutes of stability test, you can definitely hear some uh, fan noise in the background. So uh, this laptop definitely have a uh, moderate fine noise. Uh, 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 it's not a really a uh, quiet one. Uh, after some time of stability test, the frequency dropped a bit with CPU around uh, 2.5 gigahertz and a, a, a total power lamp envelope of 15 watts. Uh, the GPU is around 800 uh, or 700 megahertz, but uh, it's on the powerful side comparing to other models. Uh, what is fantastic is that the temperature is controlled uh, below 80 Celsius degree. So congratulations, uh, owner. You are not going to boil the laptop. Even the 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 temperature is very high outside. So as uh, so um, if we just uh, talk about the the total overview of the laptop, so the performance is just fantastic. So if you are just looking for a laptop for basic everyday work, some type of a uh, light uh, productivity, then it's a fantastic version. Um, so. Mm, just just go for it if you just need a basic laptop.